What's good, YouTube? Freedom of My Productions here. And uh, today, I just want to do a quick review on Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 19. Now, excuse me, uh, I'm just getting over a cold. Uh, I've been sick for the past few days. Uh, that's why I haven't been uploading like I wanted to. And uh, my voice is kind of gone right now. I'm feeling better, but my voice still ain't there yet. So that's why I didn't do no video yesterday, because like, my voice wasn't there. But it, it's kind of coming back, so... Excuse my voice, but anyway, I just watched uh, JJK season two, episode nineteen, and I have a couple of thoughts. Now I'm loving this season. The season's great, you know, right? Great season, probably one of the best uh, seasons of the year for any anime, right? It's up there. Some people argue, probably ever, it, it, it might go into that top ten, that top. Um, Echelon of uh, anime uh, arcs, it might go up there. You know what I'm saying? Up there with the Dark Tournament, Yu Yu you Show, or uh, the Shonen Exam, Naruto. Uh, it, it might be up there with the greats. I don't know. That's for you to decide, right? But I have to say this though this show is giving me. It, it already kind of reminds me of Bleach in a lot of ways, with a darker tone. This, that that would make me gravitate to Bleach, because uh, it had a, a darker tone. Then um, then let's say uh, like an Naruto or something or a One Piece, right? But uh, I've said this though. It's giving me the Bleach mixed with Game of Thrones. Is Jujutsu Kaisen the Game of Thrones of anime? Is this like... There's a lot of characters dying. It's dark. I don't even know how... Uh, this, this episode is dark, right? So... Uh, you know, we start off with... Uh, our boy Yuji. He's still fighting Mahito. And... Uh, and we just want this guy to die already, right? He already killed uh, Nanami. And we already just want this guy to die. And I hate to say this, man, but it's starting to make me get mad at Yuji at this point, man. I'm like, Yuji, dog. For a main character, you kind of suck, dog. I'm sorry, man. For a main character, Yuji, you kind of suck, dog. Because so much shit is happening under your watch, my nigga. And you're supposed to be the main character. And so much stuff is happening under your watch. Like... A hero's job is supposed to save people. Bruh. No one gets saved in this anime, man. No one. And I know it's t I know it's not his fault, man. I know that. But I just can't help having that feeling, man. That as an MC, he's kind of weak, man. Because I, I, I would think Luffy would have been, been able to save people. Luffy like, nah, I'm, I'm going to step up. I'm going to save somebody. Uh, I think Naruto would have stepped up like, nah, I'm finna save somebody. I think, uh, I, 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 I think that at, th at this point in time, man, I don't know, man. I, I, I really like Yuji, though. I like Yuji, man. Don't get me wrong. I like Yuji. But, I don't know, man. I, I just really wish he, he steps it up, man. I really wish he stepped it up. Because I hate to say it, man. Like, when I'm seeing people I like die and uh, Yuji's just there and he's not able to do nothing, it kind of reminds me of, like, Takemichi from uh, Tokyo Revengers, man. And and, and Takemichi is probably, like, the weakest MC i ever seen in any manga or anime, right? And, and I'm just like... Man, you give me the Takamichi feelings like, dude, do something. He can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I pumped the table. My bad. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm just really getting Game of Thrones, Takamichi, <laughs> Tokyo Revengers vibes from this, man. And I hate to say that, man. I know I get a lot of hate for that. But don't get me wrong. I still like Yuji, man. I just need Yuji to step it up, man. Really, man. Excuse me. You know, my throat. 
<coughs> but great episode. It's, it's, it's a great episode. Sad episode, man. These episodes been dark, man. Like, there's one thing I gotta say about Juice Kaisen. He gets dark. So, yeah, just some of the episode real quick. Just sum it up. Damn, I can barely talk. <coughs> Being sick is not fun. It's not. But. <clears throat> but. Yeah. Yuji's fighting Mojito. <coughs> he don't split himself off into like twos. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Wow. I was talking fine before then. <laughs> he split himself off into twos. One of his has to fight on uh, Nobara. Uh, she's holding her own. She's uh she's giving his little clone or his little split or whatever. She gave him that work. She put nails in his head, she messing him up. And then we find out that uh that uh whatever she de- does to the clone or whatever you want to call him, it affects the real body. So right away Yuji figured out like, oh shit, that's Nobara. I'm not by myself. Like I got some help. So he was like, cool. So they gave him a little, a little uh, they gave him some hope. So he was like, well, cool. As long as I know people out there fighting with me, I could probably do this, you know? <coughs> Let me not talk too long. My throat's getting worse. But, um, so, uh, Mojito figured out, like, okay. This girl, she's my natural en- enemy, just like Yuji. So he decides to run. The Laclone decides to run. Uh, she decides to chase after it. And before we know it, the two clones, I mean, uh, Mojito's original body and the clone body are finna cross paths. Yuji's chasing the, the, the original body and uh, Nobru's chasing the clone. And the two clones pass by each other. Yuji thought the two uh, the two bodies were gonna come together to become stronger, but no, uh, they ended up like switching partners to fight. So uh, as soon as Yuji seen uh, Nobara, he was like, "Hey, yo, run, get out of here!" You know, it was too late. He slapped her across the face, gave her a little death touch. You know, but he did say something interesting. He was saying that uh, you know. With, with one of the sorcerers, I think he said it was like some three. Uh, it took more than one tap to kill him. And he said he wanted uh, one tap be enough to kill her. And then uh, she's sitting there holding her face. And we get a quick flashback. And uh, in the flashback, you know, we go back to when she was young. She had a friend named Fumi. Uh, it, it was about them in a the small town. Uh, it's just about them building a bond with each other and and how they hated the little town it was in. Uh, they were like outcasts in this small town. And when she finally got of age, you know, she left. She, she left and moved to Tokyo. And she, she made a promise with her friend for me. And she was like, uh, when, you finally, when you finally decide to leave this town, I promise all three of us, her, for me, and I forgot the older girl, that it ran out of town. Uh, I forgot her name, but she was like, yeah, all three of us, we'll hook up again, we'll hang out. And so, they ended up showing the older girl again, and she, she's working in Tokyo too, somewhere in Tokyo. And it's like present day. And she's wondering about uh, Nobara. She's wondering like how she's doing and everything. And she kind of regrets not giving her number to him when she left. And uh, we skip back to Nobara, and uh, she's still holding her face. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's real sad. She's holding her face, and she's like, um, she was like, yeah, you know. She started thinking about Yuji and and, uh, and the rest of the crew. And then she think about her friend Fumi, and then she tells Fumi like, hey, you know, I'm sorry, I couldn't keep my promise, you know, about them meeting up again. And then uh, she turns around, she looks at Yuji, she tells him, she's like, you know, tell everybody else that, uh, what she said, she said, uh, tell everybody that I wasn't sad 
that uh, I lived a happy life or something like that. And then you see her face get swollen and her face blows up. Well, like half her face blow up. And Yuji just shot. And it, it ends like that. But now, mind you, she could still be alive. Right? Because maybe she can survive with half her face getting blown up. You know, this is an anime after all. So maybe there's something that could happen that could save her. Where, you know, she could probably survive or have her face blown off. Like, we just seen none of me. Half his body was blown off. And he was still walking around fighting. So, maybe it's possible she could survive with have her face blown off. Right? So, but if not, if she's dead, that sucks, man. That sucks. I mean, he don't need to go, dog. Like, this is what gave me the Game of Thrones thing is that the villains are just winning too much, man. There's too many wins on the villain side. And I think that's what a lot of people was drawn to Game of Thrones because, like, the good guys rarely won. And a lot of people like that depression stuff where, you know, just just death and, and sadness and stuff. And I, I was a big fan of Game of Thrones. Don't get me wrong. But what made me like the show wasn't that, oh, yeah, the, the, the good guys never win. You know, because you, you can go... You could make it one-sided too much. Like, you could make it to where the good guys win so much to where the bad guys are not a threat. Or you could make it where the bad guys win so much where the good guys are not a threat to the bad guys. And see, in the Game of Thrones, we're going too far to the left where the bad guys are winning too much. And I'm just like, well, what's the fucking point of this? What's, what's the point? You know, you got to have a balance. And right now, man, whew, this art, man. Like, I don't see a balance, man. This really is like the Game of Thrones right now of uh, an anime. But uh, I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue this crazy ride. I don't read the manga. I, I know the manga people are like, oh, man, you just don't even know. I don't read the manga. And I thought about reading it, but I like being surprised. Because usually I'm the manga reader, and I go into shows already knowing what's happening. But for once, I'm kind of glad that, you know, I'm the one on the outside looking in to where, uh, you know, I have to wait every week to find out what happens. You know, yeah, I, I think I'll keep it this way. Maybe one day I might decide to read the manga. But, like, you know what, forget it. And I decide to catch up and read it. But for now, um, I, I, I think I'll just keep doing it like this. But, uh, yeah, you guys, let me know what you think, man. Let me, what do you think about this episode, man? What, 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 what do you think about... Really, what do you think about Yuji as a main character? You think Yuji is a main character or not? Uh, you think he's a good main character? Or you think he's like just a flawed main character and that what makes him a good main character? Or do you think he's like the Takamichi of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen? Where he really don't get nothing done. It's the others around him who pretty much accomplish things. And that him being there actually makes things worse. I don't know. Let, let, let me know what you think about that, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, thanks for watching, man. Freedom Mind Productions, man. Subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, man. Until next time, man. i see y'all in the Kaizen. I might do a review for the next episode, depending on how it is. But, yeah, man. Thanks for watching, man. Until next time. Peace.